Ensure the subfloor is clean and free of debris, such as nails, staples, and other sharp objects. Dry fit the new heat mat to ensure that it fits the contours of the room and provides proper coverage. Note that the location of the supply leads on the subfloor and confirm that the supply leads can reach the designated junction box. There is no up or down side to the New Heat Standard mats. New Heat Standard mats can be flipped in any direction to place the lead wire as close as possible to the junction box. Connect the electric fault indicator to the lead wires to monitor hot, neutral and ground wires during your New Heat mat installation. If the electric fault indicator starts beeping during any part of your installation, halt the installation immediately and call the New Heat customer care team. Thinset is used to secure the New Heat mat to the subfloor. In a large bucket, prepare the thinset as per manufacturer's instructions. Using a quarter inch by quarter inch square notch trowel, trowel a coat of fresh acrylic latex modified thinset on the subfloor area to be covered by the new heat mat. If laying the new heat mat in a large area, make sure to work on one manageable section at a time. Place the new heat mat onto the thinset. Use a grout float or lightweight roller to smooth out any air bubbles or wrinkles to ensure that the surface is flat. Create 100% contact between the new heat mat, the thin set, and the subfloor. Route the supply leads to the thermostat location or junction box. Do not run the supply leads on top of the new heat mat. After routing the supply leads to the junction box, perform insulation and resistance tests. Using a flat trowel, apply a quarter inch smooth layer of thinset or self-leveler on top of the new heat mat. Allow the thinset to harden. After the thinset or self-leveler has hardened, install the vapor barrier and underlay as per the flooring manufacturer's instructions. If installing a floor sensing thermostat, ensure that the floor sensing probe is installed at this point. Place the probe in an area that is central and representative of the heat of the entire room. Secure the probe with small pieces of duct tape. The probe should be at least 12 inches from alternative heat sources such as vents and direct sunlight. Install the flooring as per manufacturer's instructions. Conduct the last insulation and resistance tests 